So the Fortnite rocket launcher Super Soaker wasn't very good. The question becomes, what if it fired actual missiles? So, uh, this blaster sent me back $27 at Target. I'll link to where you can pick it up if you're interested, but I'm gonna tell you right now that uh, this seems like a direct rehashing of the mold work from the Super Soaker, redesigned to fire uh, demolisher missiles more or less the same way. On the front, we have that it comes with two demolisher missiles. It looks like it doesn't have any sort of stored air pressure, so it's gonna be full pneumatic, which is pull back and then push forward to fire HAMP style. Uh, if that doesn't mean anything to you, guys, then uh, maybe you should brush up on your Nerf education. It's uh, essentially a uh, high volume sort of blast of air that pushes things forward with no real stored energy at any point, just direct transfer of force down a barrel. Now, this is uh, some assembly required. Never mind, it's not the same shell. It's significantly larger than the original. So it looks like this is actually, in terms of your cosplay potential, this is a much, much better option. So we only have paint on one side here, but thank goodness they painted the uh, the like war paint on both sides. And I think that that looks pretty good, all things considered. How difficult is the assembly gonna be is the question now. The assembly's not necessary. That's all the working bits. This just goes in, make sure that you get it in the right way. So take stock, tilt upwards, firmly grasp it, and insert. That's not bad. This thing's pretty chunky. Actually pretty decent sized. If you were uh, of the Aaron Esser variety, if you wanted to make some fun cosplay stuff, this is definitely a better bet for you than the original. Oh no! The sticker on my... No wonder there's paint on both sides. It's not paint! You cheaped out on me, Hasbro. My sticker's falling off already, which kind of breaks my heart. That's the coolest thing about this blaster. So we'll go ahead, we'll shoulder it. All right, not terrible. $27, I don't know, but makes a pretty delightful noise. Let's take it outside. Let's see what kind of ranges we get out of it. Ranges will, of course, be uh, user dependent. All right, guys, so we're going to keep this one short and sweet, just like Jinx. Uh, we'll get a couple of range tests out of this. Hopefully Jinx will... Oh, what's up, sweetie? Did you find a stick? It's, uh, it's zoomy o'clock, boys. Hey. Hey, Zing. Jay, check it out. Fortnite rocket launcher. Ranges are... Not great. Not even enough to get your attention. What about the old, uh, the old Nerf football? Jay. Jinxie. Yeah. It's too big for her. She can't actually play with it. All right, so we'll take a good, a good crack at it and see what our ranges are gonna be. We're standing on a hill firing this way. We'll give it an angle and pull as hard as we can. And as hard as we can, we can get about 35 foot shots, maybe 40 uh, if it hadn't hit the tree. Uh, a little bit of spin isn't bad. It's not terrible. If your game incorporates RPGs, I could see this maybe being viable. Mostly, this is a cosplay prop. And it looks pretty good. It's a good-looking cosplay prop. It's significantly larger than the Super Soaker. And uh, it's, like, terribly priced for a Nerf Blaster, but not so much as a prop. Uh, Jinxie! What do you think? No interest. Not even a little bit. Way more interested in the moss. Um, so, uh, that's my take on it. No onboard rocket storage really stinks. I think that the stock is kind of a missed opportunity, but, uh, other than that, it's just a hamp. You could neck it down, uh, to do something slightly more interesting with it. But I honestly just like, why bother? You're either buying this cause you want to take it to Comic-Con and pretend to be your favorite Fortnite battler, or, uh, you know, absolutely nothing about Nerf and you're not on my channel in the first place. So, uh, that's just my take on it. If you guys can think of any, uh, realistic reason, uh, an enthusiast should be rocking a Fortnite RL. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd be interested on your uh, take, but uh, that's my take on it. As always, guys, much love. Nerf on, Drek out.